A's Red Sox. Pedro Martinez scratched because of a sore throat and fever. Casey Fossum will replace him. And then Rich Harden's on the mound because Tim Hudson was scratched earlier with a bruise in the back of his right hand. As you see, quite a trade. Wins 230 set more than 200 wins for Martinez and Hudson compared to Fossum and Harden. Nearly 3,000 more strikeouts. Bottom one, Harden facing David Ortiz with two on. You hit it out of the park, you get three points just like that. Ortiz is 17th, it's 3 1 Boston. Third inning now, Sox up 4 3. Manny Ramirez leading off, but he's not one of those bunt steel kind of guys. He likes to go deep. His 30th, sixth straight season with 30 homers, eighth overall. Next batter then, Ortiz. Harden starting to lose the zone. Trot Nixon. And that's another walk, and then Bill Miller on four pitches to load him up. After a Jason Veritek sack fly, Johnny Damon draws a base on balls, runs scores. Ken Maka comes and gets his man. Harden is out. Seven batters in two and two thirds. Seven batters walk. Mike Wood then comes in with the bases loaded to make his major league debut and gives up a little one to Todd Walker. Two runs score. Charging to Harden. Eight three socks. Harden eight earned runs. Got eight out. Socks. Cruz 14-5 get a game out of the series. As expected, the A's place lefty Mark Mulder on the 15-day DL because of tendonitis in his right hip. Mulder, the team's leading winner with 15, left his start in Boston after just three innings Tuesday. Injury not considered serious, but it's been nagging him for a couple of weeks to try to fix that up. Well, let's just dive right in. Top six, two nothing Jays. Mark Hendrickson gets some defensive help. Ray Sanchez. Sanchez the other way, Carlos Delgado diving there, then dives to the bag to get a diving Sanchez. Speedos for everybody. A lot of diving on the play. Delgado, Sanchez, they share a smile. Top eight, M's down 5-3. Mike Cameron with the base, Chuck, Trevor Miller. Oh, boy, you got to take the bat off your shoulder there. Jace with the win there. Final of 7-3. Meeting for the 19th and final time of the season. they got to be there. Bottom four were scoreless. Jay Gibbons facing Chad Godin, who thinks he may have just given up the go for ball, but Aubrey Huff is there to bail him out. Sweet leap and grab. Gibbons robbed. Scoreless game through four. It's 4-4 in the bottom of the tent. Tony Batista against Jesus Colome, and that's going to did you know land. Walk-off homer is 22nd. O's win at 5-4 and finish the season 8-11 and against Tampa Bay. Was that Bark Thursday? Jason Schmidt. Oh, this guy, just a Schmidt gassy. He's got some heat, but Mr. Robert Fick all over that. Everybody in the world admiring this, except that guy who couldn't care less about baseball still hasn't figured out that the ball just hit him in the rope. Bottom of the third, it's one nothing. G men, Rich Aurelia. Get a little bit of bang, go over to the left side. And this is a top 10 nominee because Rafael Fercal has range and hose. Bottom four, Horatio Ramirez against Edgardo Alfonso with two ducks on the pot, and one of them ducks is really slow. Barry Bonds chucks around from second. Here comes Andres Galarraga, and the big cat's not asked to sprint 90 yards too often. Not much of a slide, more of a fall down. Giants up three zip. Bottom five, will Barry Homer? No. He walks, loads the bases. Arliss not approving. After a pop-up, Benito Santiago with two outs. That's just your average ordinary 4-6 inning over. G-Men still with the 3-0 lead. Top eight still 3-0. Schmidt, Henry Blanco, not so much. Next up, Matt Franco, shut your pie hole. Schmidt, eight strong innings. Top of the ninth, same score. Tim Morrell in to close. Whoops. With the bases loaded, not a single soul out. Andrew Jones with a shot. Mark DeRosa, Rafael for call, both score. Three, two Giants. The Braves would tie the game with a sack fly. How about we go to extras? And in the bottom of the tent, game tied. Barry Bonds up. We flash back. On Tuesday, they pitched to Barry. Bad call. Ray King threw it. Barry hit it really far. So Wednesday. They walked Barry Bonds. That came back and bit him in the foot when Alfonso brought in Nafi Perez. So what do you do on Thursday? Do you pitch to Barry or not? Whoa! And a long one to center! And he's done it again! This one is over! I'm thinking there was a better decision there. For Barry Bonds, number 39 for the 39-year-old, now has 652 home runs. Eight behind his goddad, 103 behind Hank Aaron. Yeah, all above the Giants. Sweep the Braves, win an extra 4-3. Barry Bonds with his ninth career walk-off home run and 11th career extra inning jack. He's now eight behind his godfather, Willie Mays, for third all-time. Coincidentally, Mays is the all-time leader in extra inning home runs as well with 22. 
Later in the program, we'll see just how good this BB has been at Pac Bell. And Marlins are locked in a fierce NL wildcard race. It's back and forth, nightly scoreboard watching, great drama, and at the moment, some really bad baseball. The Marlins are getting crushed at Coors Field. The Phils rolled at Miller Park. The obvious lesson here, kids, beer is bad for you. At least if you're the road team. Rocks nine innings from a sweep in Florida. Rocks, as you see, they're nice at home, 43 and 19, batting average of 303. But then when they go away, 20 and 47, hitting 239. They don't like room service. Preston Wilson, he can hit a lot pretty much everywhere. That's his 31st homer, rib number 123-one home team. Top nine is 4-3. Uh-oh, there went that save. Alex Gonzalez sends it and the ball out of the park of Justin Spire. 4-4 tie. Altitude is great fun. Bottom nine. Braid Looper to Todd Helton. His 27th of the year is a go homer. Open up the clubhouse buffet. Let us eat 5 4 Colorado wins. So, Philadelphia, Milwaukee, beer makers continue to be a force in this race. Larry Boa, the Phils, on that stretch of 27 games and 27 days, day three. They are 0 2 so far. Top seven. 3-2, two, two outs, Jimmy Rollins, little base hit, Bobby Abreu sent home, Jason Contai has got it. Both players stunned a bit here, both would stay in the game, Contai in addition to the outfield assist would hit his first homer. Top eight, Mike Dijon facing Tomas Perez, not going to get him, ball gets away. Look at Perez though, made a move like he wanted to go to second, he intended to go and we're going to take him out and Elm says yeah you're done. Zero tolerance. Wouldn't get away with that in my neighborhood. There you go. Look at it again. See, like he's going to go. That's all you got to do is make that, that hint. You're done. Next batter, Tyler Houston, the former Brewer, going to get a little greedy here. Dijon, who gives up the blooper, smart enough to cover second. All his infielders are in the outfield and puts the tag on. Well done. Look at him again. Dijon, got to go, got to go, got to go, got to go. Here I am. I'm open. I'm open. I'm open. Tyler, you're done. Brewers win 5-2. They sweep the fills for the first time in team history. The Snakes are fading out west, losing five of seven. Bring on the Reds. Bottom of the first, Junior Spivey. Oh, you got me straight tripping, boo. That's a three-run ball to left center field. And that's a desert shot. His 13th of the year, D-backs go up 4-0. They cruise past the Red Legs. Nothing new here. They win 9-3, remain two and a half behind the Phils. In the 62 games to 500. <laughs> Top of the third, it's already 2 0 Angels. Jeff Devannon, a swing and a bat with a purpose. Going to right, loves that pitch like a fat kid loves kicking. Bobby Higginson would just love to have his glove back. For Devannon, gets number 11, Angels up 3 0. Now 10 6, top nine. Brandon Edge at the plate, and Troy Percival's arm goes wild. And, you know, that strike zone is just so overrated. Walks three straight to load the bases. Now Higginson at the plate. Thinks he got a lot of it, but that's a big yard at Comerica. The Angels win 10 7, now beating the Tigers 12 straight times. Tigers pick up their 95th loss of the season and uh, through 126 games are right with the 62 Mets. Looking ahead, the Mets won their 127th game. The Tigers take on the Angels again Friday. They've lost 12 straight to the defending champions. Southern Law Wallet tight in the AL Central. We got Kenny Rogers on the hill against the Royals. The gambler, Annie and up here in the top of the first. And Joe Randa. That's what we call hitting them where they ain't. That's going to the wall. The Royal stack is getting taller. Leon's getting larger. Royals go up one nothing. Top of the third. Brent Main up at the dish, digging in, and Brent Main. Oh, he's just practicing random kindness and sense of sex and beauty. His fifth home run of the year. The Royals full stack. The Twins almost busted. Royals up two squat. Top of the fourth. Base is juiced, and this is funky. Brent Main goes to first, Matt LaCroix comes to home, A.J. Brzezinski throws back to first, right between Brent Main's shoulder blades, and it comes to throw, Luis Rivas throws home, Ken Harvey out, the chip's about even, just your standard 3-2, 4-2 DP. Bottom six, Twins down to three spot, Shannon Stewart, oh, he's just bench pressing baseballs. His 13th of the year, and the Twins going to need a doggy bag to tote those chips. To the seventh. Two ducks on the pond. It's that Stewart guy again. And this little duck snort, fine and turf. Twins go up 4-3, and the Royals just about busted. Speaking of busted, Stewart busted trying to stretch this thing from a single to a double. He gets tagged out, but high fives all around. They're up one. Top nine, Corey Koski cranked up the Luther Vandross because he feels like making gloves. 
the range and the hose. KC is busted. The Twins leapfrog the Royals in the central. The question is, will KC drop from first to third? I guess I have the answer to that. Huh? Sox trying to slow down the Rangers who won eight straight. Bartolo Colon is ERA better than a dozen the last two starts here. Hank Blaylock charged, but the former driller going to get robbed of a base hit by Carlos Lee from out of your picture slides in with a top 10 nominee. Bottom three now Colby Lewis facing Frank Thomas. Jerry Manuel wants Big Hurt to, you know, hit for average. Frank's more of a power guy. Number 31 of the season, 407th of his career, tied with Duke Snyder for 33rd in the all-time list. Sox up 3-0. A-Rod having himself in August, 11 homers, hitting 366. He's always good in August, but he's really good in 2003. Top six, Cologne. Well, down in the zone, but A-Rod got a hold of it. It's 37th of the year, 12 this month, and he's got homers in five straight games, 4-1, but bottom seven, Aaron Fultz. Joe Creedy with two on Creedy. Long fly, that'll get down for a triple. A couple will score. Sox are gonna win this seven to three. So now they are up a half game in the Central and the Royals do fall a full game back and now occupy third. Houston clinging, clinging I say, to a half game lead in the NL Central. Bottom second, one zip Strohs, Kerry Wood to a fellow starter, Ron Vallone. That gets away, strike three. Richard Heldago comes home and just under the tag of Damian Miller. 2 nothing Strohs. Look at this again. First off, Kerry Wood's going to say, the ball's right there. We find it, but then Miller can't hang out. And Wood, it appears, wasn't so pleased the way that whole thing turned out here in the highlight. Bottom four, 3 nothing Vallone up again. And, well, he's a pitcher, but he can hit. That right there, you go one for two, that'll raise your average to a buck 79. Turns over the lineup, so that Craig Biggio gets a turn against Wood, and he bangs one. Five nothing Astros. Biggio's 12th of the year. They're going to add to it. Bottom five, Dave Veers in. Brad Osmus, that gets away. Jeff Blum will score seven one Astros. Hey, you take the cheap runs when you can get them anytime. Top seven, eight one Astros. Eric Carroll's fly ball to right. Hidalgo, you saw him hustle home to score. He went two for four, and he added some D. Look at him again. Glove this one. A little smooch for the wall. It's padded. 9-3. Astros are a winner. Pressure on the Cardinals. They need a win to stay a game behind the Astros in the Central. That's a game face. And that's a game face. How about the general, the master of the game face? I've never used the expression game face, so I've no idea what it means or what you're supposed to do. I really don't think there's a need to curse there. Top of the first, Scott rolling, rolling, rolling. Little yank, base knock down the left field line. That's going to bring in Miguel Cairo eventually. Touch at third. He's coming home. Is there going to be a play now? Roland's 89th rib of the year. It's 1-0 cards. You know, Roland played great high school hoops in Indiana. Maybe could have helped Bobby Knight out with IU. Jim Edmonds, well, he could use all kinds of help here. The, the pop-up to Jose Hernandez. Well, then. Not so much. Look at this again. The fans give him plenty of room. He doesn't get the catch. Edmonds, well, he didn't even watch the play over against the rail because he thought he was out, done for, gone back to the bench. But you know what? You got to come back to the plate, son, because you got another swing at the stick. And so he digs in. And we find out that Jim Edmonds' favorite starch is a tater. His second home run of the game, fifth multi-home run game this season, and 20th multi-home run game of his career. All exciting to the general at all as the Cardinals win 6-3 to remain a game behind the Astros in the Central.